What's going on y'all Bricks from Bricks Fitness? I'm finally going to try after being asked about this supplement for probably three years. I'm finally going to try Finally, but I'm finally going to try it to see what the big fuss is about and I'll let y'all know what that is in a little bit. First and foremost, I'm going to the barbershop right now because I look crazy. I'm shredding and that's going well. It's been, I want to say about five days since I started my little mini cut and I'm definitely starting to lean out, feeling good, feeling real thotty, the thotty body. I'll turn this camera back on after I look better because I look crazy right there. Look. My oh, man got me right. I swear, getting out the barbershop chair is like one of my favorite things in the world. Comment below if getting your haircut is in your top three favorite moments of your week. So a few years back, I was listening to a podcast, right? And I, I, I it was a college athlete who went to a big D1 school. I can't remember exactly what school it was, but he spoke about how his coach imprinted a slogan, you know, that kind of created a culture in the organization. And this, you know, the slogan was to touch the line. Now, I don't know how many of you guys are, are athletes, but uh, I played high school basketball and we had to do suicides. And the, the term touch the line kind of comes from you know, when you're doing your suicides, you gotta make sure you get all the way to the spot and you touch the line. You don't, you don't skimp. You don't try to cheat and you don't try to, you know what I'm saying, cut corners or whatever the case may be. So like applying the whole concept of touching the line to your life, because our life, what it looks like on the outside is simply based on the principles we live by. So when you have this, when you have the concept of touching the line, which is following through, doing things 100% to completion, it changes the way things manifest for you. When you're a man of your word, when you make a promise to yourself, when you set a goal, you're relentless, you, you keep going no matter what, what kind of adversity stand in your way, you touch the line, you finish, you follow through every single time. You don't start something and stop, or you don't say something and you don't follow through. You make sure that your integrity is the most important thing to you, and I think that's so rare nowadays. A lot of people, they don't live with integrity. They don't care if, if they actually honor their word, and those are the worst type of people, in my opinion, especially as a man. As a man, your word should be gold. Like, I don't care, like, it's been times where I'll inconvenience myself just to keep my word because it means that much to me. When I say something, it's solid, but that's just me. And I, and I think it's rare nowadays to, to find people who, who live with those type of ethics. But anyway, uh, that's, that's beside the point. But let's apply this to weight loss. How many times have, have, you know, have we said to ourselves, you know what, this is it, I'm a change. I'm a, you know, I'm a lose weight. I'm a do, you know, I'm a start working out, and then we just simply don't keep our promise to ourselves. And I'm guilty of this too. For me, it got to the point where I had to change the the philosophy that I live with. And once I changed the philosophy that I lived with, it changed how I executed because execution is everything. You can have all the best ideas, you can have all the best intentions, but if you don't execute on them, nothing's gonna become of it. So what good is it? So change your theory, change your philosophy, I should say. The philosophy you live by should be one of execution, should be one of, of integrity. So when you tell yourself something, because it comes, it starts there. You can't, you can't have a solid word to anyone else if you don't have a solid word to yourself. So follow through, touch the line every single time. Every single day you have to crush the day. You have to touch the line. You have to make sure you, you, you complete whatever task that it is that you have set out to complete that day. Make it, make it a way of your life. Just make it a part of you to complete things. And I'm trying to keep this as general as possible. You know what I'm saying? So you can be, so it can be applied to all parts of life. But be a be a finisher complete 
things all the way through, touch the line. So I always had a negative, I don't know, I had a negative idea about this particular supplement, but I can't knock stuff and not try it. I'm in Walmart right now, I'm about to pick it up. So I just got home from the store. I usually, I have like a sweet spot that I can work out fasted and I'm way beyond that. It's about 2.30 right now, I still haven't eaten. So if I try to work out right now, I'll be way too weak, so I'm gonna break my fast. Probably just have a rice cake, some peanut butter with a few pieces of banana on it. But I'm about to try out this creatine thing for the first time ever. I've never put creatine into my body. Two things, I want to first and foremost apologize for always asking you guys to hit the like button. I don't like doing that, but likes really help the channel grow and the purpose of me putting all this time and energy into building the channel so that I can reach more people. I don't make a lot of money off YouTube at all. Like YouTube barely pays my light bill. So don't think that it's about money. I definitely need your guys' support. So please hit that like button right now. Second, um, damn, I forgot what the second thing was. So like I legit forgot what the second thing was. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you doing? I'm good. So I'm about to do some behind the neck presses, right? The only reason why I do behind the neck for one, I have really good shoulder mobility. So if you don't have good shoulder mobility, if you don't work your shoulder mobility at least once a week, I wouldn't do behind the neck presses because it has a tendency to expose bad shoulder health. And I also hit it because it hits my medial delts. I feel like in front, when I do shoulder press in front, it only hits my anterior delts. And I'm trying to get more of this rounding of my, my shoulder cap. So it hits more of that. So if you have good shoulder health, you can do it. But if not, I wouldn't do behind the neck. Barbell curls with my back against the wall because what that does is it stops you from being able to, to, to rock so it puts all the strain put all the work on the bicep So I finished my workout. All right, listen, I have no medium speed. It's either zero or 100. So I'm trying to figure out a happy medium for myself nutritionally, right? Because I always like super, super, super clean, super clean, super clean, and then I fall off. So what I'm trying to do right now is do a cheat meal every three days. So I'm gonna see how that works out. See if I can balance myself a little bit better doing it like that. It's about to go down so we just crushed that we split a full-size portion like this so i had a very modest amount so now i'm about to have a dessert and making that video the other day about paris got me thinking about nutella crepes and there's a spot right by my house that makes nutella crepes so now we about to go get some nutella crepes you figured it out man? 